Eyesore that people in the village of Gibsonburg have been looking at for nearly two decades. A resident reached out to 13 Action News for help. I-Team reporter Sophie Bates got to work looking for a solution to this neighborhood nuisance. This property is so overgrown, you can barely see the building falling apart behind all those trees. People who live in Gibsonburg tell me the roof is caving in and it's attracting all kinds of critters. Neighbors are sick of seeing it, so I started looking into who's responsible. And what I found uncovers a much bigger problem. It's just an eyesore. I think that's what most of the people's complaint is, just an eyesore, and nothing's been done about it for years. Jeff Lemke has spent most of his life in Gibsonburg and the past 20 years or so driving past this mess. Located on the village's outskirts along State Route 300, it's a popular area. We have White Star Park right across the road here. We have the campground that it butts right up to, and the high school is just north of here. When I saw your segments about neighborhood nuisance, I thought, I'm going to call Sophie Bates and see what can be done. I got to work. Now I am going to call the Sandusky County Land Bank. Hopefully they can either help me or put me in contact with the right people who can help with this nuisance. The Land Bank can't do anything because the property isn't tax delinquent. Sandusky Health Department, that's who we need to talk with. So we're going to give them a call. Health Commissioner Bethany Brown says she'll send out an inspector, but she isn't convinced it's in the department's jurisdiction to do anything. She suggested Madison Township's zoning department. My name is Sophie Bates. I'm calling from 13 ABC. But uh, Township Trustee Kevin Chameau tells me the township doesn't have a zoning department. With nowhere else to turn, I called Sandusky County Commissioner Scott Miller. He says the county will try to step in. It'd really be nice to, to have some action on this. Commissioner Miller says he plans to address the issue at a meeting on Thursday and can hopefully call me back with more information on what we can do to get this problem solved. And if there's a nuisance in your neighborhood, reach out to me at the social media below or email me at sophie.bates at 13abc.com. Include your contact information, photos of the nuisance, and as many details as possible so I can try to help. Back to you.